Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jamie aka The Bearded Brit here bringing you a brand new Let's Play, this is Life is Strange. I haven't actually played this game, I picked it up on the Steam sale a little while ago because it had some pretty damn good reviews so I thought why not give it a go, see what it's like. I haven't really played many games like this, like the episodic story ones. I played a little bit of The Walking Dead and a little bit of Tales from the Borderlands but other than that I haven't really played many of these so I've watched a lot of them on YouTube like mainly Jesse Cox does this kind of stuff so I've watched a lot of his like were playthroughs of these type of games but I haven't actually seen or played anything of this one yet so let's jump right into it with a new game I've got all the episodes so I'm probably gonna record all of them so yeah it's pretty cool let's see how it goes hopefully I don't make horrific choices and hopefully no one dies I don't know if that's an option in this I don't know I don't really know much about it honestly but let's jump right into it and see what's going on already looked pretty damn beautiful as well, I'm going to say that. Looks good. It's never a good idea to sleep in the rain either. I wouldn't recommend it. Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Right, let's get to that lighthouse. I don't know if there's like any loot or anything in this game or if I should be looking around, but um, my natural instinct is to look around anyway because I am a like a pretty big collector nerd when it comes to that kind of shit. So we're gonna we're gonna look around a little bit. We're not I'm not gonna like go miles out of my way to find something that may not actually be there. What the fuck is that? That is amazing. That looks incredible. Wow. Well I if this was me I would be losing my shit right now. I would just be like Oh yeah, this is, this is quite nice, I'll just get to the lighthouse. I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? That's mental. Can we sit on the bench? Just sit here and have a little look? See what's going on? I mean, like I said, if I was her, I'd be negative. Holy shit. <laughs> I agree, holy shit. That's madness. That is not a normal storm, I can tell you that much. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. That was so surreal. Film, little oh shit. Pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. No. <laughs> Can you give me what an example asshole. of a photographer who perfectly captured the human oh, condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victor. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. God. That's Oreo? quite a good picture. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel I like can't believe I still have this pencil case. <laughs> I should upgrade to the 21st century. <laughs> nah, it's a cool but pencil case. I like it old school. And frankly, it's bullshit. Exactly. I like it too. Keep that to yourself. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you. If anybody else looked at this, what would oh they think? <laughs> well, there's so many pages. I might actually have to read this at some point. This is quite cool. Right, we'll go to the start. Shall I read this for you? Do you want me to read this for you? Uh, I might not for now. I, I assume I'll be able to go back to this at some point. So if you want me to read this out, then uh, I, I, I will do that. I will probably read it off screen at some point. Because that's a lot of reading to do. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. We'll read the last one. Uh, October, my favourite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching leaves change colour, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and the sweaters or scary movies yet. Maybe soon. 
Kate let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much of him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash, so I can experience some social mingling. It's that, or a Vortex Club, Stroke Fest swimming party. Or is that back? Is that Backstroke Fest? You're so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me, on a loop, you'll have all the time in the world. Wow. Well done, parents. Prologue. Wow, there's a lot of shit in there. Uh, let's look I at haven't kept up with my journal said. as much as I should. No, you haven't. You Isn't are correct. What was the camera? Take a selfie. <laughs> I can take a selfie. I do love we'll look at it first. I should take a quick picture now. We're gonna do that. So, she could have taken another approach. Here we go. I, I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. Oh God. Of course, as you all me. know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, God. I did know, or you're asking me. I'm going to go if you're asking, asking me. me. Well, let me think. Um, you either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh my god, she did not Very just good, say Victoria. sad face. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Oh, time to go. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> I'm not sure why the, some of the voices are really quiet. And I'm going to have to do some editing afterwards, I think, just to boost those up a bit. Unless it's meant to be like that, I'm not really sure. Victoria uh, doesn't waste a second. Even her school books are gift wrapped. <laughs> I can't believe she made fun of me in class. Of what course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I mean, I really want to use this, but she's just over there. <laughs> Fuck it. I should have known. It. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Oh Black God. Well. She's one of them people, is she? I hate people like that. Right. What else can I see? Photo equipment. Damn, Let's have a they look. have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. Well, God, I'm nerd. such a photo nerd. <laughs> At least she knows that it. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though mm. I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I mean, it's a pretty simple picture, but fair enough. Oh, printer. That printer is amazing. <laughs> I'd love to see how it reproduces. She's so pictures. positive. I could pump I out a whole it. gallery yeah. show with that thing. When I don't suck. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Wow. She's Looks so like hip. somebody was already working on this. Cool. <laughs> Some crazy editing going on. Hello, Kate. Are you okay? Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Let's have a chat with her then. See, what, see what's going on with Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Uh, what should we go for? You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. 
I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Oh man, poor Kate. Why does she not want a book again? Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, that's interesting. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Right, hmm. what does this, this say? This might make a cool shot. Yeah. Well, go from this angle. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, what? You don't actually get to take it. Damn it. Why not? I want to take photos. Uh, let's have a look. This please. is definitely where cameras go to heaven. I mean, I just oh, got an man, achievement. They have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? <laughs> what? Who's this? So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. That's cool. So at least I'm learning from someone who's actually good at their job. That's nice to know. So hopefully things will go well. I don't want to go out yet. Books. What books so are there? So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive cool. Moment by Henry Cartier-Bresson. That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. I don't know anyone who talks to them. Oh, I don't know. I probably talk to myself quite a lot in my head, but damn. Even in she's pictures, going to town. The forest around here always looks mysterious. I mean, we did just have a dream about it, and it wasn't and really he mysterious. Even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Wait a minute. Wasn't I just there? <laughs> Camera. Let's have a look. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Let's punch her in the face. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Maybe she fancies him. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never oh, let snap. one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, mm -hmm. I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. I mean, that's true. Can I hand it in now? I guess not. Right, I think I've looked at everything. Like I said, I'm gonna like hunt around and look at everything I can because that's just the way I do. I wanna, the I wanna know the what's contest. going on. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. <laughs> you will be. We'll take some amazing pictures. You guarantee didn't tell it. me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always... to the real world. Oh god. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Who's that? Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. Well man, it's cool. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate you that. Don't. It's so fucking boring. You're not a total loser. She's so fucking shy. Oh. Was that about me? Wait, take them back out. I want to hear that. Okay, she's zoning out. She's in her own little world now. It's probably a good idea.